Mr. McDonald, I'm not a conspirator. Uh, I think even Buchanan would vouch for that. Uh, but well, you uh, are Robert a Robert Wells. Foreign relations. Robert yeah. Wells. No, I don't think. So. Yeah, I'm a member of the Council on Foreign Relations. Is that a conspiracy? You, well, you certainly. Well, it, let me just tell you what Newsweek says that says this: the John Birch Society considers communism only one arm of a national of a master conspiracy in which socialist American insiders are plotting to establish world government. Now, it also says, and here's Director John McManus, that's your public relations director saying that former Secretary of State Alexander Haig and CIA Director William Casey are two of these master conspirators who are plotting to establish world government. Now, what do you say? You know, that kind of silly, asinine statement is what makes, pe makes people laugh at the John Birch Society. Well, Tom, I'm sure being a long-standing member of the Rockefeller apparatus, uh, and as a member of the Council on Foreign Relations of Longstanding, you're fully aware that you, there is an elitist core in this country that has seen value in subsidizing communism or protecting communism. It has? Sure. You're accusing me of subsidizing communism? No, no, I'm saying because that Because I happen is, to belong no, to a... No, to there a is an elite core. Study group? That, no, no, wait a minute. There is an elite core in this country that has dominated American society. Well, I'm not one of so them. The trilateral face. commission, the trilateral Council commission, on Council relations. on Foreign Relations. The State Department, I suppose. Well, let's face it, they've dominated the State Department for 40 years, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty much openly All so. right, but what are they trying to do? Well, their themselves? objective is to try to bring about a gradual transition in our society, a dissolving of sovereignty, and a moving steadily to the left on the political spectrum. Well, who are the they? the elitist groups that I mentioned, particularly key individuals and policy makers in the Council on Foreign Relations. Is the International Monetary Fund part of this? Well, I would say the International Monetary Fund has certainly been set up for the purpose of facilitating that transfer of sovereignty and transfer of wealth on the road. Right, we elected Mr. Conservative. Let me just finish the point, right. because otherwise we're going to have a lot of un unanswered questions, that you are looking at a group that has worked to bring about the dissolution of national sovereignty on the road to world government. And certainly, uh, you're familiar with uh, local professor Carol Quigley, who has been part of your club, in which he admitted all this. And he said in his book, Tragedy and Hope, the only thing I disagree is that we've worked to keep it a secret. And you see Arthur Schlesinger, Jr., writing way back in 1947, says, yes, this is the hidden policy of America. But we can't tell the American public because they're too unsophisticated to see the Who, value. What is the instrumentality of world government? What is the instrumentality of which you say about Arthur? That's the silliest statement I ever heard. He well, never made anything like well, that. Well, let me suggest that you read the May June issue of the Partisan Review of 1947, Tom, and you can read it for yourself. It's called but Arthur Schlesinger said there was a conspiracy. Oh. A conspiracy oh, to he promote didn't use communism. The word. Oh, no, he didn't use the word conspiracy. I he said the objective was to bring about. Well, let me finish. I'll tell you. He said that the objective, the secret policy, which we can't tell the American public because they're not sophisticated enough to see the value, is that through a steady result of erosion of new deals, we bring the American society steadily to the left, All right. and through a sound concept of benign containment, we merge into the vital center of the socialist left. Those are his words, not mine.